For simplicity, as you notice also, at the bottom of it, Microsoft has brought in so many different errors that you can leverage and understand how to work with it. But depending on the template, you may have multiple tasks and multiple approval operation. Happens that in this specific template, you have only approved daily journal. So if I drag and drop it in here, automatically there are more errors will be added here. The catch here is, this is like a canvas that you have to connect the dots literally. You start from a point and then you have to approve it and at the end, you got to end it. Therefore, in this scenario, what I like to do, just connect the dots and as you see, many of the errors are gone. Now, if you're not familiar where to go and what to set, all you need to do, double click on one of these errors, automatically brings up the form that requires your attention. Somebody has to deal with this workflow. So who is the person who is supposed to be assigned to this workflow? Is that the party? participant? Is that security or role-based? Is the person is part of a hierarchy selection? Is that private for that user? Is that like based on a managerial hierarchy? Like remember the organizational hierarchy based on the organizational chart? Workflow user, the person who originates it, the person who owns the workflow, the person who uses the workflow, or old-fashioned way, just a typical users in the system. For simplicity, I use admin. And in future, I'm going to show you multiple users when it comes to budgeting. Now, as you notice, the next error it appears right here on the bar. It's just telling me that you must enter a message. That's where I told you, if you do have literally other languages, you have to have translation for that language. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. So if the end user uses the English US, workflows are designed based on English US if you have a text. This gets defaulted to the language of your choice. So if let's say in CR retailers I would have used English Irish, this would have told me put the English Irish text. But for existing workflows, the text is in English. So you have to have a translation based on the language of that user. So this gives you lots of benefit. To begin with, I can specify a placeholder here. And this placeholder, there are values of a field. And beautifully, you can concatenate your message with the placeholder. So let's do this. I say approval of 